What's going on YouTube OCD for EDC here and what I got for your face balls today We're talking sharpeners So <clears throat> this here is a sharpener that I did a video on uh, Quite a while ago several months ago and this is called uh, the raisin pro I did not know how to pronounce that word until some of the viewers actually explained to me how this uh, R-U-I-X-I-N is pronounced, and it is pronounced apparently like raisin. So anyway, uh, we're just going to get into this, and I'm going to show you a few of the things that I have modified uh, with the help of one of my viewers. Uh, this here just happens to be a 4 millimeter T-handled Allen key uh, that I use with this sharpening system and we'll go ahead and get this out of the box hopefully I can do it without hitting the camera and whatnot um, real quick this does come with a manual that I don't ever use so uh, when you purchase this thing if you are interested in purchasing this it comes with multiple different parts and pieces and components and I'm going to show you the changes that I have made to the sharpener. Uh, it comes with this handy dandy little carrying case here. It's like a nylon bag. Uh, you can buy this uh, pretty cheap online. Uh, there's several different outlets where you can find it. And it does a pretty good job. So these are the components that it comes with a few things that you're going to see here are items that uh, one of my viewers uh, mr steve kluver uh, i'm sure a lot of you guys know that name and have seen him on uh, youtube in comment sections and whatnot he's a pretty active member of the knife community he actually sent me a handful of items to go along with this uh, these two uh, straps right here. I haven't I've actually not even used these yet uh, but you can see here he put uh, two pieces of aluminum flat bar uh, together and put a piece of leather on there which is really nice uh, and these have got angled corners so they fit in the uh, stone holder on the Raisin Pro. All right so the way this setup works move some of these things out of the way here uh, one of the other items that Steve hooked me up with in my first original video this is the handle that came with the uh, sharpener and I had mentioned in that original video that I thought that this was just way too big and bulky so this was in here uh, and I had mentioned you know just like a little ball or something would work way better in my opinion and so uh, Mr. Kluver made me this little ball uh, with the attachment, which was awesome. It works really, really well. So I was happy to get rid of this handle, which it did function fine. It just is nicer with this setup right here. So this here is the stone holder. Um, and I can show you how this all goes together. Get my four millimeter uh, T handle. And this goes on here like so uh, you do have to kind of disassemble it a little bit to put it all in its bag now you know I think I've said multiple times that you know I personally uh, mainly freehand sharpen so this isn't something that I use uh, on a regular basis however uh, I have used it a handful of times uh, for reprofiling and it's it's nice it works out well um, so here's your stone holder and I've had a lot of questions about this so and that's why I'm one of the main reasons why I'm doing this video so you can see here that these straps that uh, Mr. Kluver made for me uh, work out really well <clears throat> and the angles fit up in the the stone holder on both sides but you can also use just flat stones with this setup it's pretty versatile in that re regard so it works extremely well. Uh, uh, just the other day, someone asked me if you can use the smaller four inch stones like for a KME uh, with this setup. And yes, you can. Uh, you just have to make a few adjustments. So let me show you here. So this particular strop here is you can see it's the actual leather is right at six inches, just just a tiny bit over six inches in length. But 
the whole entire stone is about six and a half or, or the the aluminum base that it's on uh, but you can move this uh, handle stop here you know up on that aluminum bar to make it to where it would accept a, a four inch long stone now these here are right at one inch wide and they work extremely well um, so these are the stones that the the unit ships with it actually comes with a 1500 uh, a 120 a 320 a 600 and a 1500 those are the four stones that that come with the unit when you purchase it uh, but you can also get, uh, there's countless numbers of stones that you can find online from many, many different retailers. So, uh, you know, that you can find them all over Amazon and, and uh, uh, eBay and all sorts of different places. You can get natural stones like these, or you can get diamond stones. You can get all sorts of different strops and lapping films and basically all the same attachments that you can get for a KME you can get for this system right here. Now, this will use uh, basically anything from, you know, uh, four or even under. I mean, if you wanted to get really short, uh, you know, really it's it's fully adjustable. Uh, but you're going to max out at about six and a half to seven inches long. Uh, that's really uh, where it maxes out. However, you could, you know, get another piece of aluminum bar stock and... You know, basically this here is, well, it's seven sixteenths by quarter inch. So that's quarter inch uh, aluminum there. <clears throat> and and you could, you know, make it longer if you wanted to run longer stones. Uh, so so th this offers a lot of adjustability. You know, you can move this and slide this up and uh, make them for shorter stones or longer stones. Now... The one thing that I really like about this setup right here is the clamp mechanism. Uh, the clamp itself is a little bit fidgety, but I'll show you uh, one of the improvements that we made to this clamp, or Steve did for me, uh, which was very, very generous. Thank you very much, Steve, by the way, for sending me these components because it definitely uh, helped out this sharpener significantly. So I'm just disassembling this really quick. And I'll show you what we got going on. I should have grabbed a screwdriver. It would have been nicer instead of using this stupid thing, but it'll work. So now you would normally not have to take all this apart like this. I'm just doing this to show you what I've done here to modify this. Um, so here are the jaws and these are stainless steel. And you can see here that I've got these little pieces of black rubber that are, uh, they had had adhesive uh, on the back of these. And Mr. Kluver cut these out for me. They fit perfectly on the jaws. So now I don't have to worry about my blade being clamped inside here uh, and having it being scratched up or anything by the stainless steel. Uh, it, it works out really well and this rubber provides really good grip on the blade so that part's really fantastic and it like I said it just works extremely well and so you know the clamp on this um, I'm kind of uh, I go both ways on it I, I like it uh, for certain reasons um, it holds extremely well you got really really good positive engagement with the blade which that part's really great uh, you know in some instances the KME uh, the clamp is just a little bit easier to adjust and whatnot this one here is you know I pretty sure I don't remember the exact word I used in the original video but I think I called it a little bit fidgety or something um, just because there's so much adjustment, you have to, you know, really kind of pay attention to what you're doing to make sure that your blade is straight. But once it is, um, it holds very well. And, you know, I've had really good results with this system. Um, I don't use it a lot. Uh, like I said, I mainly do freehand sharpening, but this does work well. Uh, I like the fact that it clamps onto a table. 
So you've got this, you know, just C clamp situation going on here. And this in relationship to the table is about at a 15 degree angle. Uh, so when you put your rod in, so this rod right here screws in back here like so. And then you've got your heim joint or ball end which Steve also included some springs, which are awesome. So when you're going, you know, hitting the end, which you can set these stop collars up for both directions. So you're not just banging against that stop. You actually have a bit of cushion there, which is really awesome. Uh, so you can see this ball end has got a hole there. This will slide on to this rod right here. And then this is where you adjust your angle. Uh, so, you know, if you want to do a 15 degree per side, uh, basically you are setting up this rod uh, to where it's parallel with the table. And then at that point, you know, you're sharpening like so. And then when you want to flip the knife, you just pull this out. This is spring loaded and flip it over just like that. Uh, so, you know, it really does a good job um, I've been pretty impressed with how well it works and you know the stones that come with it yes it only comes with the natural stones uh, that you know those of course are not wonderful for uh, uh, for super steels you know they will work just fine on all your ingot steel uh, blades <clears throat> but because of the size of this you can certainly uh, use this to do kitchen knives and stuff like that uh, and do a little bit larger knife than what the KME can handle just because of the length of stone and that sort of thing. So it's really a pretty pretty intuitive setup and, and it works well. Uh, I didn't grab any of the diamond stones that I have. I should have. But like I said, I mean, this really will work with really any kind of stone that you want to use it with. Uh, they don't have to have the little angles on the ends sorry guys my dogs are barking here but uh, they don't have to have the angles on the ends uh, however it is nice those provide really good positive engagement uh, so you can do it with you know just straight square stones or with the uh, angles like this right here so <clears throat> those are the the updates I've done to the Ruxin or the I'm sorry <laughs> the Raisin Pro uh, if anybody has any questions about this, like I said, uh, Mr. Kluver was the one that made the ball handle for me. He cut the rubber on the jaws. He provided me with the springs as well as a couple extra stop collars, uh, which was really nice. He also gave me some additional hardware that I have in this bag right here. <clears throat> it was really great. And he made these two straps right here, which I, I can't thank him enough. It was just really awesome and I really appreciate. And, you know, the people in the knife community are just really generous and, and really fantastic to, to uh, call my friends. So that's great. Uh, and then we're gonna talk about one more sharpener real quick. And it's this one right here. So this sharpener is something that I've enjoyed as well. I actually received this one as a gift. Uh, I purchased this case for it, uh, which is something I found on Amazon. But this is the WorkSharp, they call it the uh, Guided Sharpening System. And it's a, it's a really interesting system. Now this one here, I have the, the Guided Sharpening System as well as what they refer to as the Upgrade Kit. And I will show you uh, what that all includes and we'll talk about it a bit so this system uh, here's the case that I got that I think these were like 14 or 15 bucks uh, there's the company's name and I'll try to link this stuff below uh, if you guys want to check it out <clears throat> to me this is the most intuitive best sharpening system I have found for learning how to freehand sharpen so I think this thing works well. It gives you the freedom to move around and whatnot. You know, it's not like a fixed angle thing. However, uh, it, it does work well. I, I'm, I'm pretty surprised how well this thing actually works. So 
Anyway, uh, when you buy the original kit, you get these two pieces right here. So you can see they say 17 degrees and 20. And they utilize magnets and stick on the two sides right here. So you can flip these over uh, to be a 20 degree secondary bevel or a 17. And then you have this uh, piece right here that slides back and forth. And if you slide it in the back, uh, position you can lift this center section out you can see here it's got a weight on the bottom like a counterweight it's almost like a, a keel on a on a uh, sailboat uh, but when this switch right here is in the unlocked position it allows this table to move side to side uh, but you have this counterweight that is providing some resistance against you uh, but you can also slide this forward and then this is locked and it cannot move. It's just a flat uh, surface. Now, the stones, you can see here, this one's a leather strop, uh, which I have some stropping compound on. However, it comes with, when you buy the original kit, you get uh, this stone right here, which is coarse. And then you get this stone right here, which is fine. So you have a coarse and a fine stone. You can see it says it right there on the back. Um, and of course, these are diamond stones. You can see there. Uh, <clears throat> so that's the original kit. You get the coarse, the fine, and then you get this ceramic rod, which comes with multiple different uh, configurations. And I'll show you that in just a moment. Uh, and you get the two angle, uh, pieces and the center table and that's it uh, however for an extra so the the base kit uh, let me move this stuff out of the way so the stuff that you see let me see yeah the stuff that you see here in front of you right now this comes in the base kit and it's like uh, 59 bucks or something somewhere in that neighborhood 55 to 59 dollars i think if i remember right maybe it's 49 dollars i think it's 49 dollars right at 50 dollars and then the upgrade kit gets you a strop this leather strop it also comes with the compound it gets you these two uh pieces right here which i'll show you in just a second and then you also get two more diamond stones you get an extra coarse and an extra fine so I have four total diamond stones. I have extra coarse, coarse, fine, and extra fine. And basically, I think this goes from about uh, like 150 to 200 grit for the extra coarse and up to around 1500 grit for the extra fine. Um, but they're really nice quality stones. I mean, they're thin, but the table that they sit on is really nice. So I'm just gonna set these off to the side. So we'll just stick this one down on there. So the way you would use this uh, is you would set your knife on here. And if you had a Warncliffe knife like this right here, you would lock the table so it doesn't move. And you would put your edge bevel uh, or your knife blade on the, the bevel. Uh, oop, I need to scoot that up so you can see it set it down right here on the the bevel guide and then go to the stone and and run it across the stone and of course you can go back to this side do the same thing the other direction now if you have a, a blade that has a belly or curvature to the cutting edge you unlock this table and this will follow the edge bevel when you run it across there so you just maintain that angle you find the angle you want and you run it across and as you come off the side this tilts to to go around the corner uh it's it, it works really well so you go through your progression of stones and then you can lift this out and then you have this guy right here and it snaps in and you've got built-in edge uh bevel guides as well you can rotate the ceramic rod and you have uh kind of a rough portion of the ceramic rod as well as a smooth and then you also have uh, a couple of uh, grooves cut in it for sharpening your uh, your family heirloom fishing hooks uh, <laughs> so anyway 
uh, you can do fishing hook uh, fish hooks on here as well as uh, broadheads and whatnot. You got different uh, diameters of ceramic rods here for doing serrations. So this really kind of covers everything. Now, granted, you know, it's not going to be real enjoyable to do a ton of, of serration sharpening with with this system. However, um, you know, it's not a lot of fun to sharpen serrations. Period. So. So, you know, you can set the, the rod in here like this and then run your serrations on there, or you can flip it over and snap it down in there and then run your edge across this ceramic rod. Now, <clears throat> when you pull these two off, you can, uh, this is for stropping, uh, throw your leather on there. And if you're stropping at, or I'm sorry, if you are sharpening, at 17 degrees per side uh, with your your diamond stones then you pull this off and you can see right here it says 22 degrees that becomes your stropping bevel uh, to then strop your blade so you put your blade on the bevel guide right here and then run backwards across the strop and you can do it on both sides if you were sharpening at 20 degrees then you have these two pieces that come with the upgrade kit and you can see that they say 25 degrees on them and these lock in just like that uh, same deal they're magnetic they've got a couple little posts under there and they lock right in and then you can use this as a 25 degree uh, for stropping so it really covers all the bases. It's it's a pretty intuitive, interesting system. Uh, just to give you an idea, where'd my measuring stick go? Uh, your total surface is six inches long uh, for your diamond grits and your strop. And then the, the entire thing measures, oh, what? About eight and five eighths uh, overall. And it's about so oh, two and a half inches wide. And it's not terribly heavy, but it is, it does have a nice weight to it, so it stays secure on the table when you're working with it. But the fact that the table tilts like this is pretty interesting, and, and it does work really well. So these are both really good budget options for sharpening. This one impressed, impressed me quite a bit, just uh, how usable it is and how the you get really good results from this thing. And... I like the fact that it is teaching you how to freehand sharpen, uh, which I think is pretty cool. So if you're interested in learning how to freehand sharpen, I think this is a really, really good place to start. You know, you get good quality diamond stones that doesn't break the bank. Uh, and personally, I think the upgrade kit is a must have for this uh, item. And it, I'm wanting to say it's $29.95. So after it's all said and done, this sharpener with the upgrade kit, um, you'll have about 80 bucks invested into it. And for diamond stones, uh, good quality diamond stones, uh, that's a pretty good value in my opinion <clears throat> in comparison to what else is out there. You know, WorkSharp is a company that's based out of Oregon. Um, and yeah, there you go. There's their address right there, Ashland, Oregon, uh, WorkSharp. So, yeah, you know, it's got nice rubber feet on it. Uh, it works well. It's a, it's a cool little system. And then if you want to buy this uh, accessory, uh, you know, kind of rigid or, or structured case for it, uh, this was like 15 bucks. So you're going to have like $95 wrapped up into the entire thing. Uh, and I think it's, I think it's good money well spent you know comparison to what else is out there on the market today so anyway guys uh, this was just a little update on the sharpeners that i've been playing around with and using uh, both of these come highly recommended uh, i've had really good results with both of them and if you're interested in freehand sharpening this is a great place to start right here so anyway guys thanks a lot hope you enjoyed that we will talk to you later. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy. Oh, like, subscribe, do all the things. Have a good one. We'll catch you next time. Later.